Hey y'all, so today we are cutting my hair. I, well, I'm getting my hair cut and my little sister Olivia is going to cut it for me. She's right over there, but she's not in the camera shop, obviously. So she, I think I'm just gonna have her take off like half an inch or something because it's gotten pretty long. I haven't gotten it cut since we've been in quarantine. So hopefully, I think she'll do a good job. She doesn't like to impress. But yeah, so we're just here in the kitchen and we're gonna do that. How'd you do it? You don't have to put a thing on me. Do you want a brush? Let me go like down your shirt. Okay, so I have also a doctor's appointment tomorrow to see what's going on with my back. So I will probably try to take y'all along for that. That's up like a little bit. It's like an hour away from where I live right now. Cameron, Daniel, you want to say hi? The vlog. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you we're supposed to like start from the middle and cut a piece and then use those pieces to go out. Okay, I was like this isn't gonna be a problem and now I'm like oh my goodness. So I yesterday got an email from my university that I'm going to and they sent out for like what classes to sign up for so I need to do that but like I got on to do it and they were like no there's a hold on your account so I had to figure out what I need to do to get that hold removed so that I can like officially sign up for classes because I need to do that to kind of figure out the whole schedule and like figure out when I need to move out there some stuff for my school so like whenever I applied to audiology programs I applied to 10 and like in order to do that you have to obviously you have your resume that you send out to like all of them and then you have to do like letter of intents that you send to each school and each schools has to be individualized so I did 10 of those and so now that I'm like into a school and everything and I'm gonna be working there I have to fill out all these forms. I have 25 forms right now that I have to be filling out and then I have to do some more for like scholarships, eligibility. Hopefully I can get through these quickly because it is so much and like again I'm having to write like pretty much the same thing as I did for those letter of intents but it's like all over again. It's definitely going to take some time to get through 25 plus of these. It's bringing back memories of applying for grad school because it was such a chore. It took like months and months to get it ready because you have to like go and you originally take the GRE test which is pretty much like the ACT. It's just for um, graduate students and more people than just like audiologists take it. So I saved that for like months and months. You have to like pick which school do you think you will be best for and I had like momentary lapse of panic so I was like okay no I'm gonna do like 10 like most people I knew were doing like four to six schools I mean I'm glad I did it but it was it was a lot of work and then later today I'm going up to that doctor's appointment for my back so fingers crossed that it all goes well. I finished up with my doctor's appointment, which was a little while ago. Luckily, I don't need any surgery or anything like that. They said there were like some inflamed spots on my, like around my shoulder blade and stuff. Um, and like on my spine. So they said that we would probably do like a epidural. I guess it's gonna be in my shoulder. And so that should help with some of the pain that I'm having. 
So I think that'll probably be like in the next week or two that I get that done. And then after that, uh, they were going to set me up with a rheumatologist just because some of the um, tests that I had done for autoimmune disease came back uh, positive. So they wanted just to get a little bit more intel on that and kind of see what exactly was going on. Honestly, I'm sure everything will be fine with that uh, regardless of how or like what they say. Yeah, it was nice just to kind of hear them say that there was gonna be no surgery or anything like that. I would have to like deal with because that definitely would be a lot, especially right before I was going to be going to school. But hopefully we won't have to do that. Like hopefully the epidural and everything will kind of just take care of whatever's going on with my back and with my shoulder and everything. And if it doesn't, um, I'm sure they'll have a few more things for me to like try before we go to like, that extreme of surgery. It was nice to kind of hear them say that like there was actually something wrong because all before the appointment I kept like talking to my mom and I was like oh my gosh like I'm just being a baby and there's like actually nothing wrong probably and they're gonna be like it's nothing just stop like stop complaining about it. Yeah so it is Friday night here it's about six o'clock um so I think I'm gonna call it a night and probably go like watch a movie or something with my sisters. Yeah, so I will see you guys next Saturday at 4 p.m. Uh, for my video. So make sure to like this video and leave a comment down below and subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you can get notified every single time I post. But I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.